I'm gonna say you have a nasty, disrespectful position position towards black men. Let's keep. Look, I'm gonna give it a thousand. All right, I'm back. I mean, this is. This, I mean, I mean, look at her. Look at her. She's a prime example of what I'm talking about. This is the biggest mammy in 2018. The biggest coon. The biggest bad witch. This handkerchief head, Negro pen bitch, Tiffany Haddish, is not funny. She embraces negative stereotypes. But y'all Negro females, y'all defend Jill Scott, Michelle Obama, Tiffany Haddish, and all these other Negro females who coon, who squirrel, who are bedwinching. Viola Davis, oh, she's in there too. I love swirling. This, all this chick talk about how she want to get with white men. That's, all, that's what she says, quote unquote. She, all she does is talk about how she worship, worships Caucasian males, but she bashes brothers, black men, quote, quote unquote black men. She has a hatred for so-called black men. And she talked and her justification, and I really don't believe her, that she got raped. And she didn't say anything. I would kind of believe her. Uh, well, you know, it was a white male, and I, I try to do shit, and they do nothing. I could give her the benefit of the doubt because I understand the system and how it is out here. No, nah, I don't think, no, I think she got caught fucking around because, like I said, man, because think about it. If that's true, my thing is, you know, black men don't have no power, and you know, black women have more freedom or more power, more privileges. I mean, and more leeway, and black men don't have nothing. Out in this, this establishment, black women can just do whatever the hell they want, as long as they are not black first, as long as they're not woke in conscience, as long as they don't have no black pride, they're not about black love and black family, you all okay. They're, they're okay with that. All you see on TV, television, is Negroes who are, who are swirling, mainly black females with white males, and sometimes men of other ethnicities. But you see black males, you know, who are either gay or put on dresses like RuPaul, Laverne Cox, and Janet Mock, or they are portrayed to be uh, a, a, a tyrant, abusive, a deadbeat, or he is married to a woman of another ethnicity, usually Caucasian, but at the same time, oh, there's women of different ethnicities. That's all we see in TV. Dysfunctional. But y'all Negroes love it. Y'all embrace it. But y'all get mad when y'all get stereotyped. I mean, we cannot have it both ways. And I stand by Cat Williams. She's not funny. There's nothing she's known for. All she does is act like an idiot. Anybody can do that. Let me tell y'all something. I could do that too. But since I have self-respect for myself, and my IQ is too damn high, and I'm black first, <laughs> you know you know they ain't gonna hide me because I'll be too woke. Chris Rock can talk dumb shit, and when he said there's a difference between black people and niggas, that was a coon statement. That told me who the fuck he was, and I lost a lot of respect for Chris Rock. When he started pandering, pandering to women and talking about white feminism, he didn't say it outright, but when he started like putting women on pedestals and started kissing women's asses and talking about how perfect they are and can't do no wrong and meet black, black men are so horrible and just disrespect themselves. I don't even I don't even watch Chris Rock. But then when Chris Rock got fucked over by his wife at the time and got fucked over and raped out of, and and she raped him economically, took his kids away, I don't feel sorry for him. You throw your own brothers underneath the bus, you're not you're not about Bros before hoes, I don't fuck with you as a man. There's a difference, there's a difference, difference between Nubian people, you want to call yourselves, or black people who are conscious and awake and woke, conscious, black, conscious and woke blacks. Actually, con authentically conscious and woke blacks, or Nubian people, or you can call yourself people of color, original people of color, then you got Negro pins. There's a difference between Negro pins and Black first, black pride for blacks, okay? That's a big-ass difference, okay? I'm back. 
I I mean, I, when I look at Tiffany Haddish, it's like she has no self respect for herself. I don't know if she's like that, you know, off camera. If if she's like that in real life, she look she is very fucked up. You know, she's a she's a black man basher. She's obviously a black feminazi. Rather, rather if she realizes realizes it or not. Rather, rather if she's aware. Rather if she's aware and knows that she's a black feminist, black feminazi, a misandric bitch, or not. Rather she's aware of it or not, or knows it or not. I cannot stand this cunt. I cannot stand a coonette. I cannot stand a coon. I cannot stand a Negro pen, especially a Negro pen female. Because you wonder why there's so many black male coons? It's because you got um, these sorry ass black female bedwinch coon mammy bitches. These Aunt Jamamas, Aunt Thomasita type of cunts. Okay? You got these hoes and white female, white feminist minded bitches. Okay? You know, these black male coons are son of Negro bedwinch bitches. That's why they behave the way they behave. That's why, I mean, you got to understand. It, when the black, when the so-called black female, the Nubian theme, the Nubian woman, okay? Nubian female, whatever the hell you want to go by. The, the original woman, woman of color. The Negro female. When she has no pride... When she has no love for thyself, no knowledge of thyself, and does not respect the culture, the heritage, and her history, and her ancestors, and does not honor not, not her mother, but more so does not respect her father, and has a nasty disposition towards men, and is anti-black family, and not black first, then you wonder why we got all this dysfunction. But y'all want to blame it on the, the so-called black man. But last time I checked, there's only three people who are truly free. And the black man ain't don't have no freedom. But I'll tell you who. It's the Caucasian male. It's the Caucasian female and the Negro female. A lot of times, and I'm starting to understand why some people, specifically a lot of brothers... What, r rather, if they are woke or not, there's only two main, there's only two, there's, o there, there's only two, three, I'm sorry guys, like I said, the only truly Primarily, there's the only two, the only two, those primary free people on the planet is the Caucasian male and the Negro female. You want, and let me tell you why. <laughs> the so-called black female, you can't, I mean, it's as sad as, as sad as this is, y'all. The Negro female has more freedom. The, the Negro female has a, more of a voice. She has a voice. As long as she ain't talking about Caucasian supremacy and ain't exposing white male patriarchy and is damn sure ain't bad, is, she's damn sure not calling out bullshit of the Caucasian female in her ugly ass ways. It's, long, she, it's okay for her to be jealous and envious, but if, you tell, if, it, if she's telling, telling y'all the truth, about the true nature of Becky and how she's she's a key component and the main driving force of quote unquote two fingers two fingers on my on e two fingers on each hand white supremacy you know as if she's as, as long as the negro female continues to coon and be a negro bedwinch and be a mammy then she's all right t for now but if she's conscious and awake and woke and has is black first, 
all about for her black man and black children. You know what I'm saying? Then there's an issue with that. Then there's a problem. You know? Y'all want to make excuses for Tiffany Haddish. Y'all want to make excuses for these black feminists. Y'all want to defend Jill Scott. Y'all want to defend all these other swirling bedwinch bitches. And I'll say that again. Y'all want to defend these Negro bedwinch bitches like Robin Givens, Stacey Dashes, Sage Steele. You know, uh, y'all make excuses for Simone Sanders is claiming that she's down for the team. Y'all want to defend um, a lot of these Negro black feminazis, these lesbians who are who who who, who scream who oh, okay who scream Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, but at the same time, oh, they support gay rights, gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender rights. Why do these homosexuals, these dykes, these faggots, these gays and, and lesbians need rights? For what? They're not oppressed. They're not an oppre oppressed class. The Caucasian female, the white female... It's not an oppressed class. Um, if she was, Emmett Till would still be alive today. All these other black men and boys would not be hanging from trees, being castrated, being victims of violent lynchings, being slaughtered. T our black towns, like the like these wealthy black towns, like Tulsa, Oklahoma, Rosewood, Illinois. No, no, that's not. I'm sorry, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Springfield, Illinois, Rosewood, Florida. There was black towns back in the day, I mean, way back in the day in New York, in Atlanta, Georgia, that was way more together, out in California. But because the Caucasian female falsely accused a black man of, violent, of her being a victim of assault, being robbed, and especially being a victim of a, of a sex crime, being victims of these Caucasian bitches, these Caucasian Racist, misandric bitches. Always crying, saying a black man did something. Or looked at her funny. And then, that's, then you wonder why our towns at the time were destroyed. Our infrastructure that we did, that we built by our damn self. Without no hand, without no, um, we were owed reparations and land. That's actually ours to be, begin with. But... Because we, I mean, we did it without asking for shit. But everybody can ask for shit and get it. Especially these Caucasians. Caucasians have benefited and enjoyed the fruits of our, of our labor for too far long. And we, we have never checked them. We, we want to be fair and understanding. Fuck all that shit. Diplomacy don't work on somebody who's a devil. Who's, satan, who, who's satanic. Who, satanic. You know what I mean? Y'all make excuses for Tiffany Haddish, but y'all make excuses when Cat Williams says she ain't funny. <laughs> he was right, <clears throat> but you got dumbass coon, color struck Kevin Hart. He has no room to fucking talk. I will beat his ass with a goddamn hammer if I ever come across him. The fact of the matter is Kevin Hart has no right to disrespect Cat Williams, a legend in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure... Y'all see him as a legend. Even though I may not agree with some of the things he has done and the choices that he made, that he made it didn't that he made it did not make. But he has spoke truth. That's why they hate him. That's why they come after him. That's why they target him. He has spoke truth and exposed a lot of bullshit. Not with just exposing Caucasian supremacy and Jewish supremacy and called out these these um other ethnic people of color, these brown folks who identify as honor, 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 <laughs> honorary right. They call themselves wannabe Caucasian supremacists. Quote unquote, honor, 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 rare, <clears throat> honorary whites. Honorary, honorary, honorary white people. Okay, y'all made a shoes. Well, she came up from a poor background. Let me tell you, all black people came from a goddamn poor, poor background. Everybody had challenges and pains and sufferings. That's not a that's not a fucking excuse to actually disrespect yourself and be a lazy degenerate and 
and, and thrive and be and act like a goddamn coon and disrespect yourself and portray and, and destroy the black image. Okay? It's funny how black people have issues when so called black men coon and act a fool and be a minstrel. But y'all but y'all never say nothing about these bitches like Jill Scott, Erica Badu. Yeah, I'm about to get on Erica Badu and Tracy Ellis Ross and Tiffany Haddish. When they do ratchet shit, Queen Latifah do the same shit. She was down at once she was down at one point being talked about she pro pro black and woke and conscious, then she sold out for the money. And she's she's always been suspect, always had a hatred for men. Okay? You follow me. You follow me. Tiffany Haddish needs to cut, grow the fuck up and stop making excuses. I was abused. I was raped. Okay, bitch, um, how come you didn't tell your dad? I'm pretty sure you knew who the fuck he was. How come you didn't tell your mama... Your brother, I don't know if you if you have if you have brothers brothers and sisters. I don't know if she has siblings, but she could have told them. Friends, she could have told a school, a school teacher, a principal, wherever the hell. She could have told somebody. But you're gonna sit there and just say something damn near 30 years, damn near 25 plus years later. 20 years later, you're gonna say something. Bitch, you are about uh you're about damn near 40 years old. You're old enough to know better. You're going to act like a goddamn fool. You're going to act like an idiot and make black women look bad, but y'all going to defend Jill Scott and Tiffany and the and females and these Negro females like Tiffany Haddish on their ratchetness. Y'all say you black women get tired of black female negative stereotypes. But y'all have no issue um, lying, lying to the world, lying in this establishment known as America, kick it, cut, three Ks, don't get that shit twisted and fucked up, y'all, about black men. Y'all blame black men for everything, but you say black men have no damn power and can't tell you shit. But y'all blame us for everything. Like, we could stop you every time we try to tell y'all something that y'all being played, manipulated, and used... Y'all don't give a fuck. Oh, I don't. I, I no. I you got. I I will not submit. But I'll submit. I'll I will submit to quote unquote white supremacy. You will submit to the colonizers, the colonizer male, and you will listen to the colonizer female give you all this bad advice when she can't even talk because her children are shooting up schools. They're rapists. They're terrorists. They're thugs, thuggets, whores, sluts, whores and bitches, gold diggers. You know? You know what I'm saying? So, and they, they're the biggest drug dealers, the biggest thieves, murderers, terrorists. Like I stated multiple times. The biggest liars, deceivers. So why are we listening to, the, but you Negro females, see white as right, okay? So you can't talk about black men and their cooning when y'all giving birth to the children and you wonder why these children have no damn pride, no self-respect, don't want to know their history, but you refuse to teach them anything. You, ref, you, ref, you refuse to learn your damn history, know your story. You think everything started in well, after dark, it started around Martin Luther King. And you see the wrong, the, you see the wrong, you see the, you see the wrong version of Dr. King. No, they will never tell you the, the real version of Martin Luther King Jr. When he, when, when he became Malcolm X. No, they want you to be like that docile, bitch-ass, Negro pean coon. Christian, good, good old, good Christian, girly ass boy. When Martin Luther King became like a man, like Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey, and all those other woke conscious brothers, that's why they killed him. Okay, that's why. She had a bad childhood. 
that's, I mean, miss me with those black bitch tears. Stop. You are not a Caucasian female. You cannot cry, cry white tears, bitch. You cannot do that. And when I said bitch, I'm talking about those who apply to. If you're not carrying yourself as a lady, as a queen, then you are a bitch. Okay? What Tiffany, Tiffany Haddish do, and females like Tiffany Haddish do, like on that girl's trip, do all bitch shit. Do all types of bitch shit. But then bitch about negative stereotypes and how she don't like being judged and, and being disrespected as, as a black female, but you have no respect for yourself as a black woman, as a, like y'all call yourselves a queen, but all that, sh all that shit that you saw on Girls Trip, that's not black queen behavior. That's not being a queen. That's not being a lady. Y'all hate, you hate women like, you know, I, I respect Lauren Hill, you know, even though she don't get the, 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 res the respect that she does because she's conscious in a way. She ain't gonna be on no she ain't gonna be on no she ain't bed winching. She ain't being no hoe. You know what I'm saying? She ain't being ratcheted out in the streets. She has a positive image. That's why they don't respect Lauren Hill. Um, I'm I'm talking about the Caucasian supremacist, Jewish supremacist media. Y'all understand? Why did why do y'all hate why do you hate Aisha Curry? All she did is said, I don't believe in that whole shit. I'm not like that. I'll be sexy for my man. I'm not going to have my, I'm not going to expose myself, then cry victim. I'm not going to endanger myself. I'm not going to be, I'm going to, if I want to be taken seriously, I got, I'm going to put clothes on. I'm going to make sure I'm covered. And the only time a man will see my goods is, is um, if he puts a ring on it. Like she already has a, uh, last time I checked, she's, she's married and has children. I don't know. She, I think she has a fourth one on the way. Three or four children, you know what I'm saying? But y'all slammed her. I, I, I'm gonna get to that in a, in a, a, later, later in the video. So, y'all, I mean, y'all wanna make excuses about her hard life? Like that's an excuse to be a fucking idiot, a fucking degenerate, and just disrespect yourself and be a, a minstrel, a mammy, a coon, a swirling bedwinch. And then bash black men, and then when black, then when then all of a sudden when y'all get an attack, you want black men to defend you? No, why don't you ask those white feminists? Why don't you ask those um uh, um them Why don't you ask the Steve Harveys of the world that pander to you and 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 sit and send you down the wrong path? Why don't you ask them Pookie and Ray Ray motherfuckers? Why don't you ask those white males that you love so damn much that you love swirling and bed watching and being on their knees and be, being a gag, ghetto gagging bitch? Get a gag and hoe, microwave hoe. I see, you see basketball wives, all ratchet shit, horror shit, just women being, I'm just glorifying slut culture, bitch culture, hoe culture, being a bedwinch, bedwinch culture. Everything negative that's not for the revolution, okay? I know, I, I mean, I'm done, I'm done with this bitch, so I'm moving on. Look at her. I mean, now this is this is my this is this is the thing. She's half Jewish. <laughs> oh my God! And you know, I mean, like I said, uh, any any Negro female who has a white daddy, quote unquote, a white daddy, you know what I'm saying? Um, I won't fuck with her. I mean, sad as this is, I'd rather deal. I'm not. In, I'm not a fan of mulattoes. You know. Especially the so-called half black, half white type of chicks. You know, if you ask me, I'd rather deal with a chick, you know. And I'm just going to say, I'm not a fan of uh, mixed chicks anyway. I've never been a fan of mixed chicks. I'd rather start my own shit, you know what I'm saying? But 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 my thing is, I probably, I'd rather deal with a half black, half Asian chick. If I, I mean, I find, I, I find them chicks attractive. I mean... And maybe half black, half Mexican, but you know that's I mean, but you know, as far as the, um, she have been ha half having you know Neanderthal DNA, being as far as being with the colonizer and having a colonizer parent and a slave Negro, as the other parent, that's what I think about when I see these um when I see these mulattoes, especially mulatto females, who got a 
slave master father. You know what I'm saying? The de the original baby daddy in Deadbeat. You know what I'm saying? All this bitch talking about is feminism and female empowerment. Talk about, and then she's asking dumbass questions. While, well, how come women don't? How come nobody supports women as president? How come women are not? Women are oppressed. Women are not oppressed. Tracy Ellis Ross, if you are oppressed, you wouldn't. If if you are oppressed, um, take your ass to Islam. Then talk, come back and talk to us about oppression. Don't talk. You're not oppressed of anything. Ain't nobody stopping you from being anything. Tracy Ellis Ross. Stop saying that dumb shit. You said black men have no power too. And you have said a lot of disparaging shit about black men too. We have no power to stop you from doing anything. You, we, I mean, we can't tell you all nothing. We can't tell you bitches nothing. How are we stopping you from living your life, bitch? Talk to me. I mean, I mean, you act, I mean, sometimes you are funny, but sometimes you were just stupid. I mean, the only time I kind of liked you and kind of, you know, I kind of did, you know, I did have a little, you know, I did say damn, you know, at one point, you know, I did find, you know, when I was watching Girlfriends, you know, back in the day when I was like in my teens, I kind of found her attractive. You know, I mean, I think what happened was when I, there was a scene where they showed her toes and I think I kind of, you know, kind of. You know, you know, I just kind of like, okay, okay. I mean, her feet, they're decent. I wish they were better looking, but, you know, that's not, I mean, the only chick I liked in that show, not the light-skinned chick. I mean, I just thought she was cr funny and crazy. But, you know, that other sister, I don't know her name. Not the one with the short hair, but the long hair. I don't know if it's real or not. But I, I, I kind of found her more attractive, you know, or somebody, you know, who was like, you know, real in some areas, you know, if you know what I mean. Talk about, oh, I mean, you talk about, you you are a feminist. What has feminists done for your black ass, um, Miss Ross? Uh, last time I checked, them call your white, your so-called white female, white feminist friends, your homegirls, your white homegirls, your white feminist homegirls, stabbed you in the back when they voted for 45 when they voted for trump they're not gonna put uh, let me tell you something miss ross and bitches like you caucasian females latina females asian females i mean i mean you really need to pay attention to asian females they always put their so-called race first. They always put their ethnicity first. They have respect. They always put their culture first and preserve and defend their culture. They always put their, what we call, race first. Everybody's race first. Every woman, every di w women of all different ethnicities, except the Negro female, puts their race first. Everybody, everybody's about put the man first. No matter how much feminist talk that they talk about. No matter how feminist they claim to be, they will always put their man first. And the Caucasian female will always put her man before her. She will put her man, her children, over her. No matter what they tell you, they're lying to you. They always put the man first. That's how he got in power. Truth of the matter is, without the support of the woman, the man can't have power like that, to, to be real. He could do be powerful, but on his own, character-wise, mind-wise, but to influ influence the world without the support of women co complying and cooperating. I didn't say submit. Without the support of the woman, nothing will get done. That's why we say you are the, you are the key to the prosperity, to the culture, and the heri and preserving our heritage, and and demand and showing and demanding to the world. To the world, showing and demanding to the, to I'm showing and demanding to the world that we matter. We worth some. We are worth it. We matter. We are important. If you don't value yourself, how can people value you? How can the people, if you don't value value yourself, have no respect for your ethnicity, your race? If you have no respect for your heritage, your culture. What in the world makes you 
think that people are going to take you seriously? What makes you think people are, people are going to respect you if you have no respect for yourself and your own people and your ancestors? Come on. You need to be black first. And again, the sad part about um, um, Tracy Ellis, Tracy Ross, Tracy Ellis Ross, and Sage Deal, Halle Berry, y'all bitches got mixed loyalties. Y'all on team white supremacy most of the time. Y'all scream you're pro-black. You're for black this and black that. When it's convenient for your dumb ass. When it's convenient for you, do you want to pull that black card? But at the same time, you you are, you know, you are, you know, obeying your other, the other side of your family. You are on team white supremacy and you support that on the slide. You'll go keep with that shit. I'm done with this bitch. I mean... I mean Now this is this is this is a tragedy right here. F I, fuck this bitch. This bitch this bitch was full of it. She talked about how she was so down with her people, and she was for black women. And every time every time I hear a black woman say, "I'm only for black women, but not for the black man and not for ch the children," you're 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 you tell me you're on team white supremacy because. You're not. You're saying that you don't care about your race that you claim you love, and and I'm, I'm and I was looking at Monique's husband. I, I don't. I don't. I'm pretty sure that's her husband, or you know, side dude, whatever the fuck, or her significant other. Okay. But again, Monique, how can you defend a racist, a well-known racist? You look stupid right now. You are stupid. You talked about racism, and then you talked about misogyny. But last, when you were talking about these issues, guess what? All them white feminists dismissed you. All the Me Too bitches, Time's Up bitches, dismissed you. Even the Negro females, the black feminists, uh, dismissed you. Because, and w which tells me that you're loyal to that Caucasian male. That you are bedwinch. I mean, specifically those bitches I'm talking about, them black feminists. Most black feminists are bed wenches, okay? Most, and I'll say most Asian females who are feminists, you know, are well-known bed wenches. Same with the Latinas. Bed wenches, okay? Arab chicks, you know? Bed wenches, you know? It's like, you know, with that Linda Susar chick. I mean... Talk about she for me too, but she she supports Sharia law and Alyssa Milano stands by her and cool with her like that. And actually supports Sharia law, but she claims to be a feminist. So basically, Caucasian females like Alyssa Milano, we already I already know she's racist because she's attacking Doctor Farrakhan, Doctor Louis Farrakhan, Reverend I mean Minister Farrakhan, and attacking other black men. Before she became part of the Me Too movement. She's always took jabs on black people in the past. Alyssa Milano. And how she attacked Tamika Rowley because she would not dis disassociate herself with Minister Farrakhan. But she supports Cauca the, the Caucasian males that she claims to be against. But she, I mean, but she's probably one of them Trump supporters. I wouldn't be surprised. Even if she's demo democratic, democrat, she, a democrat, a democrat, a democrat, that don't mean shit. That's just they're just uh, um the blue um they're just the other the, the passive aggressive bitch ass version of Caucasian supremacist. Okay, Clintons are racist. Hillary, Hillary Clinton is way more racist than Bill Clinton. She has always said some outright racist shit. And most feminists, white feminists, are racist and misandric. They have they show their racism and their sexism towards black men. But y'all stand by them bitches because y'all have the same ideologies. Y'all say y'all have the same issues. No, you don't. You black. And she white. Okay? She got white privilege. You got mammy privilege. And the black men got pain and suffering and oppression of and disenfranchisement. 
and you that affects you too. So you are oppressed too, just not as much as the black man, and that's done on purpose to keep us disenfranchised for this fucked up gender war. You defended Roseanne. And said, well, because she didn't call her a nigger or say, I want to kill black people. So, so get the fuck out of here. That, first of all, I'm sick and, sick and tired of black people and their selective outrage. And I'm sick and tired of these Caucasian supremacists <clears throat> and their brown folk, honor, 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 honorary white folks, them, them brown folks who call themselves honor, honorary whites, saying that racism only exists if people say the N-word. And they're just saying, I don't like black people out loud. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. That's okay. Let me, let me break it down. Last time I checked, if, if we're going to, if we are going to go by that, then the, the guy, then that, that Caucasian male who shot up that synagogue, killed all them Jews. Well, he didn't say, say nothing anti-Semitic. So he's not an anti, uh, he's not, he's not practicing anti-Semitism. He did not, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't do anything that was that was considered anti-Semitic, even though he killed like thirteen Jews, which I wanted to do a video on a different day. Okay, that's like me saying rape only happens if a woman's you know has her is dressing provocative and walking down the streets, and a man attacks her and drags her in a dark alley and rapes her. That's bullshit. Okay, it don't matter. What she got on like that, okay? I wish people would stop rationalizing evil. Last time I checked, it don't matter what she wears or not wearing or how she behaving. You can read the signs that she's on bullshit. I just don't fuck with a chick like that that's doing dumb shit like that because of the false accusations. But my thing is, it don't matter if she's walking during the day or night. That doesn't justify somebody to violate somebody and rape them and take advantage of them like that. That's not right. That's like me. I mean, last time I checked, and this is this is this is this is a fact. Date rape is more common and more more the norm than um, a street attack rape. So rape doesn't have to happen. Oh, only a only a woman can just be walking down the street at night and get dragged and get kidnapped and be raped. No, date rape is more common. Most rapists are people that the woman knows. And let me tell you something. Men get raped too. And the same rules apply. Most, I mean, women don't attack a random dude. You know, it really depends. I mean, most of the time when a chick rapes a man, she kind of know him, kind of know his name and shit, kind of acquaintance or friends or she or. The dude ain't trying to talk to her, so she's trying to come up with all these strategies how to get him. Don't act like you women don't do this. Don't act like you don't know other other females do this shit. Okay? I'm not acting like other guys don't do that mess either. Okay? I'm not going to be disingenuous and be dishonest about this shit. Okay? But the fact that as a person, you know, you have no... I don't want... You should not lead... Uh, you should not be cock-teasing... Prick teasing, you should not be, you know, pussy teasing. You should not be doing that. You should not be prick teasing <clears throat> at all. If you have no intentions of being in a relationship with someone that have no intentions of going all the way, don't fuck with them like that. Don't be don't be trying to get that first for attention like that. To, so you can stroke your own ego. That's that's not cool. You don't do that because you're putting yourself in you're putting your life in danger. Not just being taken advantage of, but you can get killed. Okay? Don't do that shit. Stop it. But my thing is, the point is, nobody gets to decide, even if you're a black person, what racism is. Just like a rapist does not tell a rapist that he just raped or she just raped what rape is. A pedophile does not get to decide what pedophilia is and what is child molestation. Just, I mean, somebody who's like who's anti-Semitic does not get to decide and tell Jewish that, 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 that tells the people, the Jews that he, that he and she hates what anti-Semitic. Like I was saying, somebody who's hates Jews is anti-Semitic does not get to decide what anti-Semitism is, what is anti-Semitic and does not get to define it. 
okay? Somebody who's abusive does not get to decide and define what abuse is. Somebody, someone or somebody or a group of people who are bullies, the bully does not get to, the, someone who's a bully and bullies people does not get to fucking decide and define what a bully is and what bullying is, okay? Do I make myself clear? A bully does not get to decide what bullying, a bully does not get to, this, a bully does not get to decide and define what a bully is, what bullying is. Capiche, capiche, do, do y'all understand? So since we don't do that to other people like that, you're not going to, you, you, you Caucasians and you other ethnic people of color who want to be honor, honorary whites do not get to fucking decide what racism is and tell us how we should feel. Same with you coon motherfuckers. Same with you Negro pins, your handkerchief head, bed winches and bed buck idiots. You sell out coon motherfucking bitches. You house Negroes. You step and fetch faggots and bitches. You self-hating coons do not get to decide what racism is and tell us, uh, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't have to, you don't have no right. You, call, you racist motherfuckers and you self-hating Negro pean coons do have no fucking right to define and decide what racism is and what is racist and what is not. When I saw, when I was watching Harvey Superboy, Your World, talk about Jamie Lee Curtis. She is racist. And it's funny how she's racist, but she's that feminist. Based on her talking points, she's racist. You're going to talk shit about Cosby knowing damn well that he's innocent. But you don't talk about Les Moonves. You don't talk about Stephen Collins. You, d you damn sure won't talk about Harvey Weinstein. You won't talk about Brock Turner. All these Caucasian males who are famous and the guy who's not really famous, Brock Turner, you didn't call them out. She did not bash none of those Caucasian males who are guilty of being rapists and pedophiles. Roy Moore, Donald Trump. But you're going to attack Cosby. But, wanna t but you want to talk about rape culture, but rape culture is only common in the Caucasian community. Rape culture is only common and, well, it's the norm in the white community. And homosexuality and pedophilia is the norm. You Caucasian females rationalize this shit and make excuses when your male counterpart and yourself do that shit. You have other Caucasian females sleeping with students and sexually abusing black boys and girls, mainly black boys. Sleeping with underage boys, underage young men. Okay? I don't give a damn if he was coming on to you. You should have put a stop to it. Same way, it's the, the same way that you got these fast girls coming on to these older men pretending to be grown women. But you, but you, there's no excuse for a man that knows he's fucking an underage chick, whether he knows it or not, not to go there. You got to ask questions. Adult questions and have an adult conversation. Okay? I am so fucking tired of the selective outrage and all you motherfuckers. Okay? You see Tom, Matt Lauer, guilty. I, I mean, you got so many Caucasian males, it's not even funny. Woody Allen, <laughs> you know? Every, I mean, every week. There's always a Caucasian male getting less than 30 days of jail time. And they want to define what rape is. Oh, we don't want to ruin his life. You had a Caucasian male out in Alaska kidnap and rape a woman and beat her to death and almost killed her. And the judge let his ass go. No, no punishment. Oh, I don't want to ruin his life. We don't want to ruin his life. Let's give him multiple chances. And this, is, and this is not the first time he did this shit. And he's married. And his wife is sticking by him. Nobody's telling her to leave him. They, they rationalized and made excuses for this Caucasian male sexual predator 
um, assaulting and choking the shit out of this woman, raping this woman, and demeaning her, and degrading her, and damn near killing her. Me Too is silent. None of these white feminists are talking about this type of shit. None of these black feminists ain't calling that shit out. Oh, but y'all want to go after black men who's dead ass last in rape, in being guilty of rape. We're falsely accused at a higher rate. But when you have Caucasian males, I, I, I mean, I don't know what, I mean, I don't know which is the next one. Um, Asian males, I mean, or, you know, Latino, I'm going to say Asian males. And those, those East Indians and Arab dudes. And Latino males. Not talking about Afro-Latino Afro -Latino males. I'm talking about the Mexican motherfuckers, the, the Guatemalan motherfuckers, Panama motherfuckers, guilty of all types of sex crimes on girls. You got women doing the same shit. And I, I have noticed through domestic violence cases and female sexual predators, there's always Caucasian and Asian women. But, we, but, but, but you got these coon ass niggas. These Negro PM males who say these are the best choices, the best dating options. Caucasian, Latina, or an Asian. All you coon ass Negro males who want to swirl, you always speak so highly and put these women on the pedestal. The, the Caucasian female, oh, she's always number one. The Latina and the Asian chicks and the Arab. And, and then you. Then your last choice, if you can't get nobody, is a sister. That's only when you're, when you're bankrupt. Now you want to talk to a sister. Look at Scottie Pippen. OJ. Okay, and I want to get off the subject. It's funny how you, you, you coon-ass Negroes put these women on a pedestal. Pedestals. But, you, but then you got these black women doing the same thing. Put the Caucasian male as the, 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 the chosen one. The best, op, the, the best option to get a husband, the best man for dating, the better man, the better men, y'all say. Then you got the Asian and all, I mean, and then, the, 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 then you got the Mexicans down the line. And the black, men are, the black man is the last choice. Which all, but, wanna, but you black women want to call yourself a queen, but you don't want to have your black king. You, you Negro males, you black males who want coon shit. You call yourself a king, but ain't got nothing to show for it. But you put all these other women on a pedestal, but your own black woman. The only queen you have as a black man is your black woman, and vice versa. Okay? Back on Tiffany Haddish. Okay? Like I said earlier, Cat Williams was spot on. Monique even criticized Tiffany Haddish. Called out Oprah Whitefree, Oprah Winfrey. Okay? Called them bitches out. And called and criticized black women for making themselves look bad. But Monique, you, you just made yourself look bad. So that makes you a hypocrite. You're going to defend a racist. Calling this bitch Roseanne. Called Valerie Jarrett, Obama's advisor, assistant, whoever the hell. I can't stand that motherfucker anyway. She called Valerie Jarrett, Val Valerie Jarrett, an ape and a man. And Valerie Jarrett act like it's no big deal and taking the heart off. No, fuck that. Cuss that bitch out. Put her on blast. Put her on notice. Clown her ass. I ain't taking the heart off for nothing. In a street fight, knives, knives and guns, bombs and missiles. In war, it's dirty. You get dirty. You don't, take, you don't take the high road. There's no organized combat. No, no. No, in the street fight, in the war, all, all, everything, everything goes. Okay? Last time I checked, Roseanne. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Okay? Number two. Val between you and Valerie Jarrett, between Roseanne Barr versus Valerie Jarrett, when it came down to a beauty contest, I have to give Valerie, Valerie Jarrett the crown for, to be the most beautiful woman in the world if I had a choice between her and Roseanne. Okay? Roseanne Barr, you look like a transvestite and a goddamn ape. You look so hairy as hell 
I mean, I mean, come on, man. Come, come on. What, I mean, even when I saw Roseanne back in the day, when she was younger, ain't nobody saying, damn, Roseanne, fine. But I bet you money. There's people, whether they like her or not, say Valerie Jarrett, oh, damn, she fine. She attractive. Even if she looks, even if she don't, even if she's not that feminine looking woman. Roseanne Barr ain't, that ain't nothing feminine. Lady like she's just trash, Cheryl Park. A hood rat. A cracker hood rat bitch. And you, you're going to defend, you're going to, Monique, you're going to defend her. You were right about Tiffany Haddish, and Cat Williams was spot on. And everybody bashed Cat, Cat Williams. The host that interviewed Cat Williams and saying he don't like um, Tiffany Haddish because she's a fucking bed wench, a fucking coonette, a fucking coon, a mammy, and an aunt your mama, a fucking sellout, a race traitor, a hood rat, bed wench, a ghetto gagging bitch. All of a sudden, the host uh, somewhere wants to pick a fight with Cat Williams. I don't understand why do women, some of these women out here, want to pick a fight with a man. Then you got this Captain Sable Ho, simp ass bitch male, her man, that she, that, you know, and you notice that that dude ain't trying to put a ring on it. I don't even know if that's her husband or not. But she just treats this guy like an attack dog and try to harm Cat Williams because of what Cat Williams said. Last time I checked, everybody has a right to their own opinion. Every, everybody has a right to freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? If you disagree, fine. But, don't, but my thing is, Cat Williams is spot on. He has receipts. Kevin Hart want to talk shit about Cat Williams. Kevin Hart, you, you need to have several damn, seat, several damn seats because there's nothing fun, funny about you. You have a checkered past, too. You cheated on your wife. The woman who was loyal to your sorry ass when you was broke and had nothing, when you made it, you, 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 you dumped her, you threw her underneath the bus, and your coon ass got a light-skinned chick. Then you cheat on her, too. Even though the chick motto was coming on to you, she only wanted to fuck with you because you had some bread, money. You had some money, and she wanted a check for you. But that same bitch... Back in the day, was not trying to check for you, Kevin Hart. You have a check it pass, and you have a shitload of cooning. You have coon your way to get there. You disrespect yourself. You put on dresses, dude. Your color struck. You always dissing dark-skinned, melanated people, dark-skinned women, brown-skinned women. But you always putting light skin on the pedestal. I don't see Cat Williams doing that shit. All you do is bash. Your own female counterpart who's darker than you are to say, I mean, Kevin Hart, you're, you're no different than Gilbert, Gilbert Arenas. You're, gonna, you're dark skin, but you're going to disrespect our, your, female counterp your female counterpart who's dark skin too. You're going to disrespect your own woman who's the same complexion as you. You don't like dark skin chicks, but you're dark skin. Same with women who, who dark skin chicks who do the same shit. Don't want to date a dark skin men. Want the lightest of the lightest to have pretty babies. All you black people do is talk about having interracial relationships, interethnic relationships, interracial marriages, and having mixed children, and thinking that you made it. That's some kind of some type of success, and we we should respect you in the black community. No, we don't. You don't get no respect. You don't get no fucking respect. You're a fucking coon. You're fuck a fucking Negro pin that needs to get their ass blown. That they, 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 you need to get shot a thousand times. None of them motherfuckers. When you Negroes who swirl are getting shot by the police. Ain't none of them non-black mates defending your ass. They're not saying black lives matter. They're not using their privilege, especially that Caucasian female and that Caucasian male is using their privilege to end racism. Even if your chick is not white, and if she's an other ethnic man of color and an other ethnic woman of color, they don't give a fuck about you. They're, honor, they're honorary whites, okay? They don't respect you either. They, they see you as a nigger. I don't see them vouching for you. I don't see none of them other groups defending us, de defending us and protecting us, but we will go to bat for them. But we will not protect ourselves and defend ourselves and work together as a team to get out of our oppression that we bitch about. Okay? Monique... So basically, Monique, 
all that bitching and all that crying about racism and misogyny and how black women are mistreated was fucking bullshit. You just wanted to cry and bitch and call out racism, but all the black, all the black men who are successful and busted their ass, you said they're overpaid. But you want more money. How they overpaid Dave Ch Chappelle and all these other black men busted their ass. You women get all the jobs, every goddamn industry. Black men don't get nothing. We have to bust our ass to get there. A lot of you women don't know how to demand your pay. Y'all don't, don't even earn it. Monique, you've been out of the game for the last 10 years. They're not going to give you that type of money unless you show them something. Right? Do you want to take the money or not? My thing was... If you would have had some, if you would have did something at least five years back, even if you didn't want to take the money, you could have just, I think you, I, mean, I think with us as a people, when we are successful and having, or we're rich and we're wealthy or damn near wealthy, we should start our own industry in entertainment, start our own healthcare industry, law firms. Have our own doctors out here and employ our own doctors, have our own businesses and infrastructures. Stop opening um, um, beauty, supplies, beauty supply stores. A lot of you Negro females be opening, oh, beauty supply stores, the same shit, and selling that self-hatred shit. You're no different than the damn Koreans. You're no fucking different than the Koreans you bitch about, punching you in the face and body slamming you and ch putting you in choke and, 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 doing, and flipping you over. You, know, you complain about all these non-blacks and these Caucasians putting you in headlocks, threatening, threatening you with violence, threatening you with violence and terrorism and harassment, sexual harassment, sexual assault and rape. None of you Negroes care about one another, but you want, us to, but you want the same people you don't give a shit about within your own people to care about you. You got a lot of fucking nerve. All of us got a lot of fucking nerve. You want to count? You want to count Dave Chappelle's money, but you won't count these Caucasian females' money, and all these other non-black chicks' money. My thing was the, that was the worst argument. You should have called out these Caucasian owners, males and females, who dictate the pay. Women, pay, women pay. You talk about women's pay, then you want to talk about black women's pay. How about you talk about black men and black women's pay? How we're underpaid and overworked and getting fucked over? No, you want to focus on black women. You're nothing more than a low-key black feminist. A fucking bed winch. I looked at your husband, he's a fucking pussy. No, you're no different than Jamil Hill. Oh, you wanna, den oh, you wanna be, den you wanna, when a black person is, is talk about calling out racism, you wanna, den you wanna be dismissive. But when you go through racism, oh, you wanna cry victim and you, wanna, you want the same people that you just shitted on to help you. Mo Jamil Hill and you, you want, to, you want to say race did not play a factor in Cosby being fucked up, jammed up unfairly in the system. Justice means for white folks. Just us. Not, uh, not all people. Not for, not for black people. Okay? You understand? You understand me, bitch? And you dumbass bitches, you Negro peons, idiots. Okay? But, but, but Jamil Hill and you, you want to cry racism and you want to cry sexism. I say just stick with racism because sexism is not intersectional, okay? Because you got Caucasian females who suck at every goddamn thing, getting, tw getting like a thousand times more money than you, cutting your damn throats. But you want to talk about women empowerment. And then you all want to talk about slut walks and shit. Amber Rose, dumbass. You want to talk shit about Cosby, but you didn't bash none of them Caucasian males. You didn't even say nothing about 45. Les Moonves and Woody Allen, Stephen Collins, Roy Moore. You never called out the Caucasian females who, who support these motherfuckers. They're, they're not going to put, they're going to put their race first. But black people, we never do that. Oh, all lives matter, but fuck us. No, we should just be fair to everybody who's not going to be fair to us. And maybe they'll be, understand. No, fuck that. So basically, Monique, you didn't give a shit about black people. You don't give a shit about black women. You, you didn't give a shit about nobody. All you cared about was your damn self. So basically, all that cry of racism and sexism and, and, and racism, then you're going to play sexism and then say, oh, it's both. And black women. You didn't give a fuck about black women. You don't give a damn about black people. 
that your husband, your significant other is a fucking pussy crying and you being the matriarch. I'm tired of seeing shit like that too. All I see in these shows, these sitcoms, reality shows, black women being the matriarch and black men being feminized faggot bitches. Or you're swirling or you, you flirting with white males. You, you want to travel to Rome, to Rome and all these European countries and get white daddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got some, I got some, I'm getting all crunk right now. I know this shit is long, but shame on you, Monique. You're a fucking, you're a fucking fraud. You didn't care about your people. You cared about your damn self, so fuck you.